Okay, so this is like the third time I have tried recording this video, but um... Man, this, this is tough. <laughs> I'm back, I should say. After several, several months of, as the kids say, uh, touching grass, I've been hiding from from a lot of from a lot of internet and internet culture lately, and for good reason. I mean, there's a lot of reason too right now. Well, at first, I want to explain why I've been away, and then I want to also uh, inform you of my hopeful plans for the channel and everything. You know, I kind of do this thing every year. You guys already know. I leave for like three or four months, and then I come back, and I upload some videos, <laughs> and I stream for a little bit. But like. Um, this year I took a literal internet sabbatical, like I, I had to for my own mental health because of how uh, the state of of a lot of social networking, social media content creation in the last few months has been very, very dour. And on top of that as well, the, the kind of video game community as a whole and a lot of the games that have been coming out haven't really... Um, stricken me as things that I want to talk about until up until like literally about maybe a week or two ago. The first thing I want to throw out there is uh, yes, I did make a Xenoblade 3 uh, Future Redeemed video. In fact, I made two and both videos I did not release and that's for good reason. Um, I just felt they were very uninspired. I felt it was like I was meandering. I felt like my points were not coming across very clearly in that it didn't feel like my best work, right? And I don't wanna put out content just for the sake of putting out content. I wanna put out content because I love to make content, right? I, I wanna make content that I feel like people would watch that I would wanna watch and that I think is enjoyable. And I don't wanna like make a really uninspired, rambling, ranty video on, on a game that I, I recently played. If it doesn't strike me, if I don't feel the the passion to go into it and that's not to say that i didn't enjoy future redeemed i i really did enjoy it i liked it a lot it's just the thoughts and feelings i had were mostly internalized and maybe it was because of my mental state maybe it was because of the things that led to this point of me not really going online for a while but i just didn't feel inspired to make a video on it <laughs> i guess is the best way to put it and that's kind of like the the whole uh crux of, of the discussion I'm, I'm gonna have with you guys today and that's that I haven't been inspired by a lot of games lately a lot of things coming out to make videos on them I've, I've thought about making a video on the Persona 3 remake kind of drama that's going on with the fandom and Atlas where you know it leaked several times and fans are really upset because there's gonna be missing content from FES and Portable but I didn't really think my uh, my take would be all too groundbreaking so i was like oh you know i'll just avoid it um i wanted to make a video on the new atlas ip that's that's coming out uh i thought that would that looked pretty cool and uh again just kind of saw it and was like yeah you know my take isn't gonna add a whole lot um but uh there are some things that i do want to make new content on um i do i really do want to make a full-fledged review video on future redeemed i think that game will have its time there's so many things about that game that i think are special and and fantastic and it's really just a xenoblade fan service game uh and i appreciate it but i, I I'm kind of xenobladed out, you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of xenobladed and RPG'd out, and that's a really that's, an, that's another thing I want to get into. I'll get into it later. But um, yeah, let's jump into uh, the the main point. Uh, I, I I've been you know tiptoeing around for a while now. I, my absence has been largely due to kind of uh, a distancing from social media and social networking for the last few months, and I kind of needed it. And a big reason why I felt like I needed it was because man everything from content creation to social media has just gone downhill in the last like four or five months and it's degraded to this point now where you can't have any good conversation anywhere i feel like right or it's very difficult to and it's also very difficult to feel like as a content creator you're making content and you're actually going to be able to reach an audience and be able to you know do it like uh there are so many things to jump into with it but i mean you've you've all probably heard about a lot of the drama going on with twitch right now 
how they're reducing the uh, streamer and um, advertiser revenue. It was a 70-30 split. It's 50-50 now. A lot of people are jumping ship from Twitch to other platforms. And those other platforms honestly are not any better in terms of, you know, um, the general aesthetic of them and the morality of them and um, what the, the sites have to offer. A good example of that is Kick. I, I, uh, I'm someone who I would never stream on Twitch anymore purely because I don't think there's an audience for me there. I think it'd be very difficult for me to break out on Twitch. If you're someone who wants to try streaming and starting streaming in 2023 on, on Twitch, like you're not going to be able to make it. The algorithms are too bad. No one's really watching a lot of things on there anymore. It's a very hard to break through and break out because a lot of the, the aspect of the community of Twitch, which was what made Twitch, you know, special for a lot, a lot of uh, people and, and made it so that people were able to, to kind of break out was, you know, having someone, you know, um, do a raid on your channel or your uh, friends with someone who has a moderately small or, mo or pretty decently sized following and you stream with them, you co-stream with them. And um, that, that sense of community has been disbanded ever since Twitch has been kind of making more strict policy on what you can and can't do and how you're able to communicate messages and the revenue you're able to make from it and a lot of the stupid policies and politics around it, right? Um, and it, it makes it extremely difficult to even want to bother uh, streaming and, and especially for me, you know, I don't, I don't even have a following on Twitch, so I don't. I don't think it'd be very easy for me to, to go up there, right? And then uh, I mentioned Kick as well. Kick, <laughs> Kick has a lot of its own problems. Um, but I mean, like the optics of, of Kick are just bad, and it's something that I don't. I think it's going to be another mixer situation, you know, like where uh, I think there there are going to be a lot of uh, tough business decisions being made. I think the only thing that Kick has going for it right now is that Twitch is actively killing itself like it literally eating itself alive and that's why kick is like gaining steam and popularity um but at the same time it's like you know a company that's you know pretty much its parent company is a gambling um game website and it's actively promoted on the website right you have a lot of different avenues of just like negative content creation it's kind of like the wild west out in kick right now kick is like the exact opposite of Twitch. If Twitch is a safe padded room where you literally have no freedom to do anything, Kick is like, <laughs> is like outlaw city, dude. And you know, you can, you can easily find yourself in really bad situations on that platform. Those are the kind of duality of streaming platforms. And that's suffice to say, you know, I'm on YouTube right now, right? And YouTube is no different. YouTube is also a horribly mismanaged social networking and content creation website there's no ability for a lot of youtubers now to really break out and do things that they that they want to do um and it's been the way in the algorithms for years now right like and that goes into a big part of why i've, I've avoided doing a lot of youtube stuff youtube streams you don't really get a whole lot of 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 uh, of traction and, and kick from YouTube streams. Um, I do it just because I like to do it, right? I had a few projects I thought were pretty cool that I never really finished and followed up on because they were really, really hard. <laughs> but um, the, uh, you know, the idea behind streaming in YouTube is like, you know, it's the visibility is really low, right? You do it for the audience that you have, and that's pretty much it. Uh, with that said, I also do kind of, uh, th this is kind of counterintuitive to what I just said, but to kind of broadcast that I'm going to be back to you guys, I, I do plan on streaming a bit. I actually really want to stream Pikmin 1 and 2 since it was just released on Switch. Those are two of my favorite games of all time, and maybe drop some content on that as well. Uh, so keep an eye out. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Uh, YouTube has also, as I mentioned before, had algorithmic problems for a while now. You know, there's especially the last few months there's been a rise of like you know you can't say any words that are perceived to be negative or bad um and otherwise you'll be blacklisted by the algorithm your videos won't show up in search suggest uh, suggestions your videos uh will be age restricted you won't be able to be viewed by people who aren't logged in uh and it'll just be harder for you to be found and searched by other people there's such an influx in in large amount of content creators on the website right now where it's very difficult for people to navigate through their sub boxes unless they have notifications turned on, for example, right? 
YouTube has made it actively more difficult for the end user and the content creator to be able to find what they need in order to keep going. Um, on top of that as well, you know, uh, this has been a pigeonhole of YouTube for a very long time now and I've, I've fallen trapped to it as well. And it's also why I don't want to continue doing the same thing over and over again on YouTube, right? But like, you get known for something on YouTube, right? You get known and you have an audience for something and then you're favored to do that one thing till the end of time. I'm pretty much known right now as the Xenoblade and JRPG guy. That's, that's, that's virtually it, right? That's my, that's my audience. That's my following. That is what uh, gets me views and gets me engagement. And I mean, that comes with the territory. I've done the videos and that's the content that I, I've revolved myself around, right? But I kind of pigeonholed myself into it and YouTube has now pigeonholed me into it. And in order for me to get out of that pigeonhole, I have to like start from scratch essentially and start doing things at a new angle and a new level you know i've tried spicing out my con spicing up my content i should say um in the last year from you know the essay style reviews i do because those things took way too long to edit you have to beat 100 plus hour jrpgs to do them and then write out huge scripts and do voiceovers and edit the you know 40 50 minute long videos um and and that made it so that production of those videos took like two to three months at a time um and if i didn't if I did it any faster, I feel like I was rushing it and I wasn't, you know, making the best care of the content that I needed to. Um, and that was just too much to handle. It was way too much going into uh, every video and, and to sustain an audience for it. Because uh, let's be honest, in this, in this day and age, people don't have very long attention spans. I can maybe attract someone's attention for a week or two. You know, I, I spend a week without uploading a video and then, um, you know, my engagement just dips. <laughs> It, it it goes down um so i mean again i'm just i'm discussing the optics of all this but i mean to say is that you know I've, I've you've probably seen it but i've switched over to more you know discussion style videos where i talk about news stories in the realm of jrpgs and video games where i talk more about you know like uh things on, on a day-to-day -day basis and that makes uh that makes it you know interesting still and it's easier to edit content um but I mean, uh, even that is something that is is lacking an in inspiration for me. You know, I can't find new things to talk about every day that I feel like I can contribute something meaningful to. Uh, so that's another thing as well. But ultimately, uh, with YouTube and, and me right now, is it's trying to find a focus. It's trying to find what I want to do and what I'm able to, to grab my audience to do. Now, I'm not saying that I'm planning on doing a complete sea change in my content. That's not the case at all. I still you know want to talk about video games and stuff and i still want to talk about nerd shit but like i i have um i have obviously uh built a brand for myself and that brand is something that uh as i've gotten older and I've, I've progressed uh is something that i no longer feel as passionate about right like um so i think a big aspect of that is is me trying to find new things and new ways to make content uh, for you guys and I've, I've thought about it on so many levels right I've thought about so many things I want to do and I can't commit to anything because if I ever do commit to something and I say I'm going to do something I never follow through with it you know like it's the curse of being me at this point I, I start something and I don't finish it <laughs> right and that's um that's something I've been trying to work on as well you know is following up with promises and keeping up with things and trying to be as you know authentic to my own abilities as I can be uh, and with that said, um, that gets into my final point here, is making videos and the content I want to do going forward. Uh, I'm not going to say that, you know, things are going to stay the same and I'm going to, you know, do uh, four months of videos and then stop for three months and then come back. And I'm not saying it's going to change either. I'm not saying I'm going to do either of those things, right? All I'm saying is I'm actively going to make a conscious effort to create more content more frequently and to come up with new and interesting things to do and to talk about that revolve around the things that I enjoy. Um, now, does that mean I'm going to stream games every week? No. Does that mean I'm going to upload a video every day? No. Does that, it doesn't mean anything. It just means to me that I want to refocus uh, this channel and what I want to do with it. 
Um, and that doesn't entirely always mean talking about video games. Um, I want to talk about video games a lot of the time because I love video games, right? Um, I want to talk about Pikmin 4. Oh my god, I'm so excited for Pikmin 4. I want to talk about um, Persona 3 Remake. I do. I want to talk about the new Atlas game. I want to talk about um, the Nintendo Direct that just happened with all of the announcements, including Mario RPG coming to the Switch. Like, that's a big game from my childhood that I loved, and seeing it remastered and kind of like the Link's Awakening art style is super cool. And I, I want to talk about those things, right? I want to talk about Pokemon. I want to talk about all these other things as well. But I, I also want to talk about, you know, the things that I do in my everyday life and my hobbies that aren't just video games. I'm a big collector of shit. I'm a big collector of nerdy crap. That's that's just who I am as a person, right? Um, maybe I'll do like unboxing videos of things. Maybe I'll do like, oh, here's a pickup I got of this of this shit. Uh, like these games I just recently picked up that I plan on playing. You know, maybe I'll do. Um, oh man, you know, I I I I'm considering doing it because I'm I bought it. But let me know if you guys are interested. Uh, if if you guys made it this far in the video. There's a, um, a figure I ordered, I pre-ordered like two years ago, um, that I need to update my, my, um, billing information for, and I don't know if I'm going to pick it up yet. I have like a week to pick it up. <laughs> like I have a week, um, or else they're going to cancel the order. Uh, but it's a figure of, uh, Nia from Xenoblade 2 from Good Smile. It was like 300 and 50 bucks and I, I do I do I do kind of want it but at the same time I don't know if I want to spend the money on it and you know I'm not really super as into it anymore but I can still I still am considering picking it up you know um, but if you guys want to see me unbox that on, on a video just let me know I'll um, I, I can probably make that work uh, but I mean yeah like you know stuff like that right you know stuff like stuff like that is is what I want to gear towards um, I'm also in in the mindset right now where I really want to focus on, and this might sound a little weird for, for you guys to hear, right? But um, I want to make bigger, better videos. And I just it completely contradicts what I said earlier about, you know, making like um, the, these huge projects that take up so much time um, with, you know, video game reviews and stuff. That, that's a bit different. For this, I mean, like, one of the things I've thought about for a while now from the classes I've taken on filmmaking uh, when I was in college years ago is uh, doing videos um, that are kind of documentaries. And right now I'm getting at an age, um, I'm in my mid-20s, you know, where I want to uh, focus on uh, creating things to preserve, right? To preserve the history of the things that I uh, love as like snapshots of my life. And um, I think documentaries are a really good way to go with that. You know, finding a, a niche in, in, in an audience in a group um, or a, a vision for a documentary is something that I really want to do. Um, and some documentaries are easier to do than others, but um, there's there's a lot of things that I want to I want to do with that too. I'm not promising a documentary because I still need to buy a lot of equipment for that. I still need to buy a lot of filming equipment. I still need to do a lot of research and uh, you know R and D for it. Um, but like uh, it's something that's in my head. It's something that's I'm brainstorming. You know, I'm brainstorming that idea. Anyway, I've I've meandered for way too long on this topic. Uh, this video is literally just to say, hey guys, for the fifth time since I started YouTube, I'm back <laughs> and um, expect more stuff. I plan on streaming Pikmin 1 and 2 soon. Um, that's a definite, so you'll probably see me do that in the next day or two. Uh, I also plan on uploading a backlog of things that I've, I've, um, I have uh, recorded in the past, like the Pikmin um, 4 reaction I had in the Nintendo Direct. Um, that, that was pretty cool too. Uh, I also do still want to make a full-fledged review on Xenoblade 3 Future Redeemed, and it might be my last big review in a while. Which is sad, because I still haven't released the Xenoblade X review, which I made like two years ago, and I fully recorded it, and I, and I was most of the way through editing it, and I, and I never finished making it. Uh, but yeah. In any case, thank you guys for watching this. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to see for me, what you want to see me do, right? And I, I feel like I've, I've asked that a lot of times as well, but you know, I, I just don't know what what it is um, this channel is built for anymore, you know? Uh, and maybe that's just me being dramatic with it, but 
there's a lot I can do and a, not a whole lot I know what to do with. So, um, yeah, cool. Thank you. I will talk to you guys soon.